welcome to my stitch with me I'm Sharon today we are going to do a stitch with me on the old Christmas shop by Ciro Marchetti we're going to be working down in this part in the presents today so I thought while I had a chance I would hop on and do a stitch with me now let's just bring you in a bit closer there we go hopefully it's not too close you might get my hand in your way a little bit but we'll see how we go haven't done a stitch with me for a while because I've um, had a few medical things to take care of now I hope this isn't rocking too much because you're actually attached to my stand so we'll see how we go hopefully it's okay now if you've <clears throat> if you've been me, with me for a while um, with this one I cut it thinking it was 18 count Ada and it worked out it was 16 count so I've had to modify it a little bit and all I've done at the moment is taken off 20 20 stitches on this side now I've gone all the way from this is the bottom of the chart and I've worked my way all the way to the top so I know I have enough top and bottom um, what I'm going to be doing now is working my way to the other side and see whether I have to chop off 20 stitches on that side as well so I've either cut it wrong or I have started it wrong so maybe I should have turned the material around but if it's only 20 stitches on the other side then that's fine it's not going to mess up the the pattern really all it is is half um, half a, a parcel a Christmas present this side so all it is is just this half of the present and I'll go across and it should just be that half of the present as well and I'm not going to I'm not going to lose much up the side it's only it's only a bit of the Christmas tree either side and a bit of the curtain so I'm happy with that because I have done uh, 27,000 or over 27,000 stitches I've done I started this one in the middle so there was no way I was going to start it again that wasn't even an option it was see how much I have to chop off the sides to make it fit because most of the most of the good part of the pattern is all in the middle anyway and I'm happy that I can get the top and bottom so that's all all fits in it's only 20 off this side so far I think I think once I get to the other side it will be 20 20 rows off that side as well but like I said, if that's all it is, then I'm happy. That's fine. I don't mind. 20 stitches is nothing off of a big full coverage. You wouldn't even notice anyway. So We will see how it goes once I get across. I want to get a good chunk of the bottom done, but work my way across as well. And as long as that fits, then I may as well just go straight up the top and work my way across the top and then I've done the whole border and then for my um, my games that I'm playing I have a heap of different things to choose on the pattern like if it's a certain color I'll I'll have the whole pattern to choose from and not only that I don't have to just work from the middle if I fancy doing a bit of the the red bow red and green up the top I can or if I want to do a an animal on the shelf then I can go straight to the middle and do that so it works not the way I planned on doing it but that's just the way it's happened um, as for medical um, if you remember I told you I had to have an echo stress test done on the heart um, now I got that done last week while I was there I asked them was there any problems 
anything to be worried about. And they said, from what they can see, from when I was on the treadmill, this was um, one of the one of the ones that were keeping an eye on my blood pressure while I was walking on the treadmill. Um, according to to their heart rate and blood pressure and everything, everything was good. He goes, he can't see a blockage or nothing on that part, but he hadn't looked at the the echocardiogram at that time. So he said, oh, well, once you get, once you see your doctor, you will know. So I said, yep, no worries. So I went back to the doctors yesterday. I walked in and sat down and wasn't sure what she was going to say. And um, she goes, you passed with flying colours. So terrific. So now I know that everything is okay. I can be a bit more relaxed, not stress so much, and concentrate on my stitching because my numbers have been down because I've been a bit, a bit worried, as you do. Um, but I can, I can stress less now. That's hence the reason I've got this uh, stitch with me going today. Because I feel more, more into doing it. So that's good. So I got, got a blood test done yesterday just to, just to check my kidneys, make sure everything's okay there. Um, but she thinks everything's fine. So all is good, hopefully. All I've got to do is lose a bit of weight, mainly around my, my belly. Um, but I'll work on that now. Now I know that everything's all right with my heart. Uh, we do have a treadmill and a, um, a, a bike, a stationary bike. So I can just start, start working on them every day now. I know that everything is okay and I can push my heart to the, to the max with the exercise. It's all right now. Just got to watch my knee. Other than that, all is good. Hubby was home yesterday, so he come to the doctors with me, so that was it. That was good too. That way if there was anything wrong he was there to support me, which was which was good. So now I can get back to back get back to normal. We've had a lot of a lot of rain here in Queensland. It's rained all week so far. Today has been the first day we've seen a bit of sun and no rain at all so far. So I've got the poor washing machine working overtime. Hasn't been able to do a load all week because we don't have a dryer. Um, but I just, I was going to wash the clothes and put them on the clothes horse, but with all this rain, everything will just stay damp. There was no wind. So I thought, we've got plenty of clothes, we'll just wait. And today I've just been doing the washing. That poor washing machine's not going to stop for a little bit. So I just, hopefully it stays nice. Not sure if Tiger will make an appearance. He's laying on a table in front of me at the moment. Um, it's just like a work table, it's not the dinner table, it's where hubby was doing all his um, diamond painting. I might just end this on the front for now and that way I can flip it over off camera because it's pretty heavy one side, I don't want it to tip and lose the camera. Yes, I don't know if he'll come and nudge like he has been, but we'll see.
Everyone looking forward to Easter, to Easter, Easter Friday tomorrow, or Good Friday. It's, um, doesn't even feel like Easter. I mean, when you've got no kids in the house, it, the holidays just seem like another day. We'll go see the kids on Sunday, drop off some Easter eggs for them. Hopefully this weather stays the way it is today and um, it's nice Easter day, would be nice. Took Tiger to the vets the other day just to get his uh, claws done again. He was starting to stick to the carpet every time he walked and he'd get on the lounge beside me on the arm of the lounge and just claw the, claw the arm. He does have a scratching post but like cats do they prefer the lounge. When we're upstairs in the room, in the bedrooms, he's got one up there. He uses that one because he used to scratch on the bed and we told him not to. So now he uses the scratching post up there. But down here he's got one as well in the lounge room, but just don't, he won't use that one. Maybe one day he will, but at the moment he won't. That's that part of the present done. Mark this off and see where I go next. All right, looks like we move across and we've got more, another part of the present. I think there's a bow in between, or oh, a ribbon, which I'll fill in after. I hope my hand's not getting in the way too much. If I um, move you away a bit more, then it's going to be hard for you to see, because I'm right in the corner. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. I'll be home tomorrow, so I'll only be working on a small project. Saturday, I'll probably work on the Chatelaine. So I will put together another little video for the Chatelaine. And get some more of that done. So far I'm not going too bad with the challenges that I've set for myself. Um, I'm about, I think now, about two, around the 2000 mark behind on my toy shop. Because that one I've got the big challenge of doing 52,000 for the year. And I think I'm about 2000 short to keep up with the weeks because um, it should be a thousand a week but. so I've got to catch that up I did get a lot of that done yesterday actually I worked on it Monday and Tuesday and I really enjoyed it because the part I'm working at was just so exciting so we will see how we go but I'd like to I'd like to get my challenge done on that one if I can. But I'll just keep plodding along. My next my next video will be in April, so you will know how the challenges are going. Cuz so I'll give you my stats for March. I was going to say February then, but we're in March.
so far so good, I think. If you're in the fun with cross stitch Facebook group, there is a lot of challenges going on in there for this year. We have monthly challenges where you have to count your stitches. We have monthly challenges where you don't have to count your stitches. So you just choose what you're going to stitch on to go with the prompts and then a start photo and an end photo. Even if you only get like 50 stitches in and that's all you can manage to put in, that's fine. You can still do it. We're trying to make them, trying to make them easy for everybody. Not everybody likes to count. Not everybody likes to do a lot of stitching and get big amounts. So if you only get big little amounts, that's fine. You can still join in and have some fun. That's our aim. We do have um, some year, a yearly one in there. We do have a two year one. So it's just all a bit of fun. Um, if you can do them, you can do them. If you can't, you can't. This, this month's was a bit hard. For, for one of them because the letter was Q categories that's right the letter was Q so it was a bit hard but you just try, try and tie your project into it somehow because it's a hard letter most of the um, tries that you do get allowed not not a problem we're, we're very easy going we just want to make stitching fun after all we don't want to make it stressful. After all, it is a hobby. So jump over to the group if you haven't joined joined yet. You must answer the three questions though. We're getting a lot of people come through. They're not answering their questions and wondering why they get declined. It's only because we don't want the trolls in there or the scammers. So it's just to protect everybody supposed to be fun mm -hmm. that's another section done this one actually stitches up pretty fast I have a few more ideas that I'm going to start for next year. I think we're starting 25, 25 new starts in 2025. Now they won't be, they won't be Hades, that's for sure. I'm not, well, I'm not going to say not, but I don't really want to start another Hade until I can get some of these ones done. Because otherwise, it's it's hard because I want to work on all of them, and I work. I want to. Sometimes I stitch on them one day, and I just want to keep going. But I know they all need some loving, so I can't just stitch on one. Like this one, by the by the end of the day, I'll just I'll just want to keep stitching on it because I just love seeing the little bits and pieces come together. So I'll finish this present and probably do the bow on it as well get the whole thing done and then move along but yeah just loving the stitching but yes yeah, so I'm gonna do 25 new starts next year now that most of them are going to be small I have found a uh, a few cat patterns that I want to do there's probably a few more tigers that I'll throw in the works as well Everybody knows I like the tigers. But there's a cat, there's a cat reef that I found. I think, um, Zane Cross Stitch, I think, on Etsy. That's all right. I'll show you where it gets closer to the time anyway. So there's that one. There's cats. 
um, with a sewing machine which goes up like a tier about three different tiers of it I'd like to put that one in there's a few snow globes that I'd like to put in maybe a couple of gnomes but it won't be any it won't be any haids I don't think I know I know I've got that many real big ones on them on the go but more than likely it will be full coverage because I, I gravitate to full coverage more than samplers I have done a few samplers but the full coverage is more my, my style I'm doing I'm doing a sampler at the moment I'm doing friends that one will be finished this year easy and then I'll bring in um, the Big Bang Theory, which is, that's another sample, because that's mainly got words on it, so that one's not going to take long at all. So I'm hoping to have them two finished this year. Uh, the Tigers will be finished. That's over 60% now, and so is Australia Map. That's over 60% too. So those two will be finished. So that's probably, well, at the moment, that'll be three finishes, because I haven't started... Um, big bang yet but yeah that'll be three finishes so it's looking good as for any of the others I'm not sure I'd like to reach my goals I reach my goals and I'm starting a new Chatelaine. Going to do Swan Lake. Okay, so I've got to move you a bit so that you can actually see what I'm going to be stitching next because I'm going to move up the up the graph a bit. Hope you can still see. And so, um, yeah, I've got to get everything. I'm going to jump in and grab everything for Swan Lake, hoping that I get my challenges done or majority of them done. That way I'll have it kitted up ready to start. We'll see. Let's hope I can be, get my own challenges done. Might have set big goals for some of them. But I know I have a lot of time on my hands to stitch. The only time I won't be stitching is when we have our holiday closer to the end of the year for a couple of weeks. I won't be stitching then. But that's okay. Gives me a break. I want to try and get ahead with toy shop so that I'm covered for those two weeks. So I need to get in front 2,000 stitches. If I can. Instead of behind 2,000. I hope you can still see this. I'm very close to the edge, but that's because I'll run out of run out of fabric if I um I've only got a very little margin on this now. That's that's the edge just under there. So I've only got probably ten ten stitch margin, so not much. that's okay okay I'll end that one down here okay let's find the next color 
Next colour is, whoops, not that one. It's going to be this one. So I need 817. Another red. Now, if there's any questions you want answered, just send them in the comments and I will answer them next. Stitch with me. Gives us something else to talk about. Bring it back in again. I hope it didn't make you sick doing that. Now, what else can I tell you? I went up the shops this morning. It's very busy up there, but it's only because everyone's racing around trying to get what they need before the shop's shut. The shops are shut for one day, and the, everyone goes crazy. It's Saturday morning, after the shops have been shut all day Friday, I know Woolies will be flat out. The people will be lining up at the door. And I just think it's amusing. I mean, why? It, they're only shut for one day. It's not like you're going to starve in that day. But everyone buys so much shopping to say they're shut for a month. And half the time... I buy so much and it gets wasted. That's like when COVID was on. You see everyone buying a heap of meat when it's on special, just so they can stock up. And then there was an article on the news showing garbage bins and they were full of meat that people had bought and just chucked it away. Now there's so many people out there that need to to get food that couldn't because everyone stockpiled. But then they threw it away. How much waste that is. Well, nothing you can do about it. That's just the way some people think. Everybody to their own, as they say. This is the other side of the parcel. I'm not colour, or not, not colour. Not sure what colour the ribbon is in the middle. Let's have a look. Um, I think it's. I think I'm doing this one, so it'll be a yellow ribbon in in the front of this one. I think that's the one I'm doing. Okay, I'll just keep plodding along. I, find, I found a nice pack of um, beads to go on to the Chatelaine the other day at Spotlight. I had a tray of them. Now, I know on the pattern it says to use Mill Hill beads. But these are all two millimetres, the same as what it says. Some of them are the right colours. Some of them might, might not be. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and use these ones. I do have a lot of Mill Hills, but not the right ones that I needed. Now, Mill Hills are so expensive for just a small packet. So I figure if these spotlight beads work... If they're the colours that I need, well, I'm not going to put 
a blue when it should be a green or a pink when it should be a red but if it's the right shade of color then I'm just going to use those ones now I did show the pack on my last video and they're in like little tic-tac containers so they're well packaged uh, I think there was Twenty-four, I think, or it might be twenty. Or there might have been ten in a row. But uh, looking at them, I think they are going to be okay. And after all, who's going to look at the the pattern that I put them in and say, "Oh, that's not the right one"? <laughs> not many people, I don't think. I have had a sale up at Spotlight as well, so the material's all 40% or 30% off. So I've got some more material to make some more bags. All I've got to do is cut them out and get them sewn up. I've been sewing orders at the moment. So I've got I've got bags made up that I did the uh, day before yesterday, so they're ready, they're all sewn up, they're ready to be sent, so they will be sent after Easter. I mean I went to the shops today but nowhere, not where a post office was and the big shopping centres are going to be that busy so they're going to be sent after Easter. And I know the person that's going to receive them is fine with that. If they're sent today anyway, they're only going to sit at the post office. So I'll do that after Easter. I've had quite a few orders for the advent calendar bags. So that's that's very good. So I've got I've got all the material for those ones. They will be getting made up. I normally start start doing them after June. Um, depending on how many orders I've got, I just do them in between the orders for other bags bags, grime guards, depending on what the orders are. Keeps me busy. Okay, so we Why have I that one? Just one minute, I've just got myself all that's that one, okay. I've um I just marked off the wrong ones, which confused me for a minute. I've got a habit of doing that when I do a stitch with me. I mark off to like if I'm doing a lot of the one colour in the area, I mark off too many stitches. And then it puts me out and wonder, hmm, okay, that's not right. <laughs> but we're back on track again now. It was just two stitches that I'd marked off that I shouldn't have marked off just yet. But that's alright. We're back on track.
Hubby's been busy, busy with work on the roads. Today will be, today will be pretty busy out there, I think, going down the highway. So he, um, he's an interstate truck driver, so he's gone from Brisbane to Kempsey today. Unless the other driver is running too late, then he'll go all the way through to Sydney. But don't know if they'll do that today because then it means he's got to travel back tomorrow on a public holiday. So I'm not sure if they're going to do that or, or what's going to happen, but haven't heard from Hubby yet. He'll ring me later and let me know what's going on. But no doubt, the traffic will be crazy out there today. They already said on the news that this morning that the airport was busy. So people have kept kids home from school because it's the last day of school for kids in Queensland today. Some people have kept kids home from school if they want to travel for Easter. Which they never do much on the last day of the term anyway. I'm pretty sure they're not going to mind. <laughs> but yeah, it just makes it, makes it very busy out there. Sorry if you hear the washing machine. Ready for another load to go in. So he'll travel up and down the highway. He's quite happy doing that. Keeps him busy. Oh, might help if I put it in the right hole. There we go. What else to talk about? Have he started his new new Lego piece? He's finished the the Batman car. I started another one. It's a Star Wars. A Star Wars one. Uh, not sure what it's called. I can't see the box from where I'm sitting. So no doubt he'll get get some of that done tomorrow. Because we're staying home tomorrow. Being Good Friday. Everything's closed so we'll just have a relaxing day at home. Unless Hubby gets sent to Sydney, but I don't think he will. It'll cost him too much to have him working on a public holiday for the whole day. So we'll stay home. I'll, if Hubby's going to do his Lego, then I'll do some stitching. And then Saturday I'll do the shackalane. So there'll be this video going up today, which is Thursday. And then I'll put the get the shackalane together. And that will go up Saturday. Saturday afternoon or maybe Sunday morning. It might have to go up overnight, depending on what time I finish it. So hubby works all day Saturday, so till about five or six so I'll stitch until then um, so we'll see see how much I can get done on that one and I'll take you along on the journey as I have been 
I've had a lot of good feedback that people like going along the journey with me. So I'm going to take you along the journey to the whole thing till it's all finished. And that way, that way you can see how it's all done bit by bit um, on my one. Um, they're not long, they're just little snippets probably. Oh, they're all under 10 minutes. But it's just something small so you can see it, see it grow stitch by stitch more or less. Okay, three, four, five, six. What have I done now? Looks like it's up one. Okay, that looks like it's up one row too many. That's okay, just give me a minute. We're just gonna have to frog this bit. Where did I finish? No, I started. One minute. Should be out of front that bit. Well, the last thing you needed to see me doing was frogging. But these things happen, don't they? This has all just gone up one stitch too many. Okay, well I might have to end the video here because I need to try and work out. I've only got to unstitch or unpick these few darker stitches here. This row here is just off by one. So I can't leave it there because otherwise the whole thing will be off. So I might just leave it here. And I hope you have a good stitchy week. Uh, let me know in the comments any questions that you'd like me to put on to my next stitch with me. We got 158 stitches done in 45 minutes, so that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. If I didn't have to unpick, then um, we'd probably keep going, but I've got to find out why that's not unpicking. So I'll have to keep flipping it over and, and seeing. Something's tied up there somewhere. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this stitch with me. Let me know in the comments any questions that you have for my next stitch with me and what you would like me to stitch on next week. So I will see you again soon. Bye for now.